What legends and tales do the folks in your state tell? That's what I'm exploring in 50 States of Folklore. I'm Liz, and I called it. I told one USA folktale in my Around the World folklore series, and in flooded the requests for individual states. So here you go. Every Tuesday when I can, I'll give you some American folklore. Tonight's tale comes by request from New Jersey, and I'll tell you right now, it's a bummer. To me, it really illustrates the need to introduce children to positive representations of diverse cultures and to do it early. It's the tale of Jenny Jump. Jenny Jump State Forest is located in Warren County, New Jersey, and I'm assuming the name came before the urban legend. Otherwise, it's a really morbid thing to name something after. Jenny was a nine-year-old girl who lived back in the day when New Jersey was first getting colonized. She lived in a small white house at the bottom of a cliff, and she'd spend her afternoons picking berries on some of the higher outcroppings of that cliff. One day when she was doing so, however, she was spooked by the appearance of a Lenape man. Some sources say he was chasing her, but you and I both know the kind of ideas that parents would put into the heads of their children about Native Americans in those days. And let's be real, in these days sometimes too. So it's not a stretch to assume the mere appearance of one would frighten the poor girl into running away. Whatever happened, Jenny screamed for her father, and her father responded, Jenny, jump, presumably to catch her. And it was terrible advice. The poor kid jumped to her death. White people will literally jump off a cliff to get away from people of color. Those who have seen her spirit in the forest sometimes report her as wearing a white dress and skipping along the path. Others have seen her wearing a blue dress with fair hair. Jenny Jump is also a character in the extended Oz universe. Author John R. Neal spent some time in Jersey, and apparently he thought it would be a great name for his main character. And he's not wrong, but again, weird story to base anything off of. So that's the first tale in our 50 States of Folklore series. And before my New Jersey people come out yelling, I have done a video on the Jersey Devil. Check out my Spooky Stories playlist. Tell me what other amber waves of grain we should travel to and what folklore you think best represents your state. Or worst represents it. We have fun here.